Chi La La in Blue. Um, Chi La La blitzing in with some, um, very likely these are more Xing Yi. Um, Chi La the Xing Yi in addition to Wing Chun. So that was more likely a, a Xing Yi blitz. He already gave the guy a black eye. Look at that. Some people just bruise easily. Or maybe that's a bruise from a previous match. I don't know. But Chi La La stances. You can tell very unorthodox. And... So this is K1 rule, so very limited clinch time. I believe you can throw one strike in the clinch or something. I don't know. Um, kickboxer trying to use jab to gauge distance, but he's kind of shy about it. He's not extending his jab completely. Yeah, he's a little gun shy. Look at Silala just using his unorthodox um, stances and his movements to kind of confuse this kickboxer. So the two um, commentators are... Need to be fired. They're not as good as I. Not to say I'm good. I'm just better than these two commentators. So I turned them off. Um, if you look at the score down below. Tilala already has a few points. Um, but again. It's very subjective. Because the referees are sitting in a different angle than we are. So. Tilala very good head movement. And he connected with the jab right there. Ooh. Great. Um, Tilala is the master of kind of sweeping. So, obligatory check of our kickboxer to make sure he is good. So, ooh, that was some cool Wing Chun right there. Look at that. Um, launching his strikes, they're quick, but they're telegraphed. It's really interesting. Lots of, um, uh, sorry, lots of uh, Wing Chun frames and stuff like that. Look at that. Very interesting. Ha! <laughs> Chilala definitely wants to redeem himself, right? This is the end of the first round. Um, Chilala definitely wants to redeem himself because he did very well in the King of Dragons, but he unfortunately didn't get first place, which I think a lot of us were rooting for him. So this is like, he has the experience of completing in a really big league. So now he's going back to kind of the minor leagues. <laughs> Again, Waco people, I'm, that, that was a joke. I'm not saying you guys are not as skilled as Chilala or whatever. I don't want like, Taiwanese people coming over to want to fight me for making a joke. But it does feel like because King of Dragons has more hybrid MMA rules than this. This is, you know, can't really even clinch, can't ground and pound or whatever. Right, so that's why I'm calling it minor leagues. I'm not saying people are not as skilled. I'm just saying the rules um, prohibit certain movements that Chilala was allowed to do in other tournaments. So, here we go. Second round. Um, this... This uh, kickboxer looks pretty young. So, uh, another two-minute round, second round. Let's see if Chilala's going to switch up. Chilala's utilizing head movement. It's pretty interesting. I don't think his head movement would work against certain Muay Thai guys. But, it's sure working against this kickboxer. Chilala's punches are definitely much more kung fu than um, what we've seen in a lot of matches. Yeah, Chilala is like, this is his Kung Fu Redemption fight, man. He's literally, I see almost 80% Kung Fu in this. It's really crazy. What do you guys think? Do you see 60% Kung Fu, 40% Kung Fu, 80% Kung Fu, 100% Kung Fu? So. Yeah, I am really impressed. I guess maybe Chilala heard some of your hate. <laughs> like, oh, you're like, he's not using Kung Fu. He's like, well, I'll use 80% Kung Fu. <laughs> but, yeah, seriously, if you guys are going to be a hater of Chilala, get off my channel. I'm serious, man. Chilala's the nicest guy ever. People who you who really can fight tend to be the nicest people, man. So, I love that his short says kickboxing. That was a body shot right there. Ooh, wow. Um, his opponent, the kickboxer, kind of fights how I fight, which is spazzing. He's too spazzing. He's not aiming when he's swinging. He's just kind of swinging. That's kind of how I am when I get pressured. So I see a lot of myself in Chilala's opponent, which means if you guys ever want to see me sport Chilala, it's probably going to look a lot like this. I'm going to I'm gonna kind of look sort of like a Muay Thai guy, but I'm going to be spazzing like a Muay Thai guy. <laughs> it's 
So, Silala with a good spinning back fist. His opponent, Kickboxer's like, I don't care. This is an interesting... I wonder how many rounds it's going to go to. So that was the second round. This might go to third round. Oh, that's second round. Oh, Silala definitely won this, man. Yeah, this this was probably the most definitive victory Silala's ever had. Wow. That, by the way, guys, that's Huang Songsen. That's the guy who Silala, basically, we think he won, but the tournament gave it to him. So this guy's looking at Silala being like, ooh, I'm scared of Silala now. So... Wow, guys, that was some impressive kung fu right there. There was so much kung fu in this, man. How he moved, how he struck certain structures and frames he put up. And spinning stuff, you see, uh, that was a good kind of warning for people like throwing spinning stuff. See, Lala paid for that spinning stuff. He got clipped. Uh, you, it's, too much of a, it's too much of a risk. You give your back and stuff. That's great. See, Lala saw... An instability in kickboxer structure, and he kicked at the thigh. That was pretty good. So my thought is, if I were the kickboxer going against Silala, I know that Silala moves in an unorthodox way, but maybe I just rush in, man. I feel like Silala is kind of posturing. A lot of his like hands being not by his side gives me a lot. See, like just keep rushing in, keep rushing in, keep pressuring him. That's just my thought because this guy's a little gun shy, and he's allowing Silala basically to do these things to him, like psych him out and do these unorthodox movements. But I think you can cancel a lot of his movements if you just stick to your Muay Thai foundations. Oh, he's not Muay Thai. Or stick to your kickboxing foundations, if that makes sense. So that's my thought on how this kickboxer could have beat Silala. But, <clears throat> like, see, a lot of those strikes, um, those Kung Fu strikes didn't have that much power, right? I mean, so if you eat a few of them, it's okay if you can hook them or... You know, hook him to the body, hook him to the face or something. And yeah, just some thoughts. Either way, not to take away from Silala. And also not to take away from this kickboxer. I mean, Silala just had quite a few battles in the past month. And so Silala is very seasoned compared to this guy. I don't know how many battles this guy's had this month. Anyways, man, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Follow Wako and go follow Silala and everything else. Talk to you guys soon. Hey.